Hi fellow YouTubers and current subscribers, uh, my name's Nick and tonight I'm going to be talking about um, global warming again and renewable energy and what the benefits of renewable energy are in the scheme of things but my main, uh, my main topics tonight will be discussing the major types of renewable energy and yeah just to give you a brief understanding of what they are I know there's a few people out there that don't quite understand the whole concept so it's only going to be very basic and brief some of you might know a lot about this already in which case um, if you continue to watch this I hope you enjoy it and maybe get something something else out of it or you could comment on my blog and give me some information that I may not be aware of so I appreciate that yeah the reason why I'm doing this is my concern for the planet and the way we're going with global warming and or the way the government likes to put it, climate change. Yeah, they don't like to use the words global warming, it sounds too scary for them. Um, another reason for doing this is my disappointment in the government, the Australian government in particular, for not signing the Kyoto Agreement, um, which is concerned with um, greenhouse gas emissions in a general sense but also deals with um, carbon trading schemes and that sort of thing so a short message to our government if any government officials see this any members of parliament see this my plea to you is please consider signing it John Howard it's not acceptable you know every person contributes to this problem and we are a small percentage in your eyes but every single percentage makes a difference so if you don't think we should sign it why should anyone else sign it and that's the mentality you know we have to make a difference we have to show that however small our contribution is and it's not actually small it's quite large considering our population however small or large um, our contribution is to greenhouse gas emissions we still need to show our support for um, getting rid of this filthy way of driving, um, driving our energy so yeah that's my message to you sign the Kyoto Agreement it's important so now if everyone else or my subscribers and other viewers of my blog that haven't yet subscribed um, yeah I just want to mention a few different types of um, renewable energy and what they yeah how they work so the main types I've got some notes written down here too to help me as I go but the main ones we focus on now that we're aware of are wind water solar uh, geothermal energy and biofuel all of those except for biofuel are clean renewable energy sources uh, biofuel is renewable in the sense that we can get it from um, excuse me, relatively um, new plant matter. So in other words, it hasn't taken millions of years, i.e. coal and oil, um, to develop from extinct plants or just really old plants that have broken down to form coal that we burn. So yeah, those forms of biomass uh, we use to burn um, in combustion engines and whatnot to provide us with a renewable energy or s energy source. So it is renewable, but it's not clean. The other four, which are wind, water, solar, and geothermal, are the better alternatives. As you can see from my viewpoint, I'm very much against um, greenhouse gas emissions, and I do my part to um, lower what I what I am um, producing so I don't have a car anymore and I walk around a lot it does limit social life but I don't know I just have a heart and I think about these things so the other um, so the main ones I want to focus on are wind water and solar I'll attack geothermal, geothermal energy in another video but yeah so let's have a look at wind and the way wind is utilised um, in terms of renewable energy 
is through wind turbines and it's basically a long stalk um, the structure is like a long stalk with three blades that capture the energy flowing across them um, in the form of um, wind flow and these wind farms are usually situated in high altitude areas and coastal regions where the airflow is the highest and the relationship between airflow and output of these turbines um, is in, as a, um, a cubed function so it's an ex exponentially uh, an exponential relationship so even with a small increase in um, increase in airflow in wind speed and results in a um, a cubed increase in power output and generally the power output of wind turbines is between one and a half and three megawatts per turbine but now they're actually creating um, new generation wind turbines that can produce up to five megawatts of power so that is excellent and we're always looking forward to people spending more money in renewable energy so if you're a young person like me and you are looking for a new career, careers in renewable energy um, technologies, go for it. Um, so that's wind. The benefits are the fact that, that it doesn't produce any greenhouse gas emissions and it's quite efficient. Downsides are the fact that it's um, intermittent and you don't always get a constant flow of air. So that provides a bit of a problem. But nevertheless, it's still viable and we can use batteries to capture the energy that it's produced. So that's one option. The other forms of renewable energy I want to look at are water power. And um, it's used in various methods, water power to um, create energy in, in the form of renewable energy. Um, and these include um, hydroelectric dams, wave power, tidal power, tidal stream power. Um, ocean thermal energy conversion, which is known as OTEC, I just relies on a temperature difference in the water, and blue energy, and I'll look at blue energy in a later video also because I find it quite interesting. Um, that's basically the reverse of um, desalination, the desalination process. Um, so they're the main things, the main methods of water, the power of water, harnessing the power of water for renewable energy quite interesting because water is actually a thousand times more dense than air so you know for the movement of um, water it could be a thousand times um, uh, the speed could be a thousand times less than the speed of air but still generate the same amount of power so it gives you some indication of how the density of um, a substance moving creates energy so I thought that was interesting. Um, the last one I want to look at quickly is solar energy and the utilization of solar energy in um, producing a form of renewable energy. Solar energy is basically the harnessing of sunlight. So again, this is restricted to daylight hours, but energy can be stored in batteries. And the, type, the way um, sunlight is harnessed is through um, solar cells known as photovoltaic cells um, also solar updraft towers and through solar thermal panels um, situated on the roofs of houses to heat um, their water for um, household use whether it's um, water for showers I think it's mainly for showering and creature comforts but yeah that's what um, solar thermal panels are used for and yeah the upside to this there is no production of greenhouse gases greenhouse gases in the form of carbon dioxide and methane being the main two contributors of um, global warming and the again the downside for that is it's limited to daylight hours so, but I'm going to finish it there because I don't have long to go. So I enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed my um, video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.